time for a street legal XR650R. We already have rear view mirrors on it. There's a multi switch that's not hooked to anything. We'll go over that. This has the XR650L speedometer, which bolts right in. I did have to make my own little aluminum bracket to hold that on and the key switch. And the key switch is only going to operate the, the blinkers and the tail light. Here's all the pieces that we need. So we've got two front blinkers, horn, battery, our little regulator rectifier so that we can charge this battery when the engine's running flasher relay, and then I got the rear light bracket. Everything's already bolted together here. Multi-switch, that's it, that's all you need. We do have Baja designs, but when I got this one originally, um, since this is just hardwired in headlights, I was only able to put, it's just running the brights. So now I'm going to wire in functionality of the high and lows onto this so I can have a proper, proper street legal headlight. And I might run that through the wiring that's in the multi-switch, so I might even have a high beam, and even the blinker lights might work. All that's in here, and I might figure some of that out. But we'll see. But that's everything. Sorry, a little bit more. Brake light switch for the rear. This has a spring in it. And then this, when you, you hook the spring to the foot pedal and then to the end of this guy, and you wire him in so that when you press on the foot pedal down there, you complete the brake light circuit. And then same with the front. This is a hydraulic switch. That'll go on the front handle. So, gas tank off, seat off, airbox off, just for the heck of it. This is where we're at so far. So in here, you'll have that guy there and this right there. This is all wadded up, but we need that space because we need to put a battery, regulator, rectifier, and all sorts of crap in here. So first thing I did is Pop this guy out of his little rubber doodad, and this wire comes up here, along here. So I loosen this guy, and he runs up into your coil and up to the headlights. So I pull this, basically take as much as I can back here, because this guy is going to go in this little empty spot. And here we are. So... That's CDI box, kind of fit in this little wedge. Nice and tight. Plug reach is fine. Everything's a little bit, a little bit tight, but we're good. So now, So we're going to take and bend those down. And that's where we're going to fit that. So these two, these two wires coming back here to the running light, we're going to take this off. Actually, I'm just going to unplug it. I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it there, but this is where I'm going to siphon a little bit of AC power off from those two guys. Alternating current to my regulator rectifier so I can charge this bad boy while it's running. So we're gonna figure out, because I want the instrument cluster up here to show me my brights, 
my blinkers and whatnot. So I'm gonna try to wire it in with the multi-switch over there. So this plugs into the back of the light. And the back of the light is simple. That's common or ground, or this will be the one of these, one of these two legs of the AC current stays there. And that feeds back to the, the stator. And then this one is bright, this one is dim. So common or ground, dim, bright. We just switch power between those two and the headlight will go between bright and dim, which means I need to, so that goes that way. So I need to chase that one for ground that one for dim, that one for bright. I need to find out where it is over here so I can clip it, put connectors on it, and plug it in, you know, plug two wires from that functional switch into here. And one wire for this will go into the switch for the other leg, and then one leg stays right here. So stand by, I'll do multimeter off camera. Okay, so one end is in the ground. Or overload and it looks like these both of these green wires here they're just bullet connected into each other that's it I've double checked nothing else gets continuity through that so I'm safe right there so I took the one leg off for my AC that's coming up I unplugged this guy and he plugs, plugged him into green. And this green is also connects to this green and to my ground. So now that's one leg. The second leg is this goes into the multi switch as the headlight positive, which was in my other video. And then that headlight positive will come down and feed whatever two wires feeds my high and low. But we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so to continue, I, I pulled the kind of the loom out from my multi-switch. So on mine, this is positive going in. Light blue is low beam. Dark blue is high beam. So I'm going to plug this into the other end of my alternating current. We'll just pull this little bullet connector out. Pop our new one in. So now we have a complete circuit on one side from the AC going into the switch, the other side to the common ground. So to figure our next wire, we put that into our high beam. So high beam is the opposite. Uh, it was ground on this side, high beam, low beam up top. So we're in the high beam. And in this loom, it happens to be also the dark blue. So we'll just get in there and touch that little guy. There we are, high beam. So let's clip him, get the other side of a bullet connector on him. And then we'll switch and check for the, or here, let's just do it live while we got you. Okay, we're up into the low beam. So let's see if it's the one next to the high beam, because that's a light blue. No? So white, white is our low beam. Okay. Okay, got them on, got my little heat shrinky bullet connectors on there. Let's plug these guys in. So, 
that's it. Headlights are in and done. We're set there. Now if I switch them high and low, I actually have high and low. I've never had that on my dirt bike before. Very exciting. <clears throat> Where are we gonna put the horn? I think. Right there will do. going to get one connector going from him all the way back to ground and then the other thing he's going to get is from this multi-switch is going to get 12 volts going in and those 12 volts are going to power the blinkers and the horn so that's all they really need so they are actually already spliced together one of those is the positive for the blinkers, the other for the horn. So those are going to go to the other end of our key switch, which is down there. We'll get positive in from the battery, then positive out will feed our blinkers and the horn. So headlight ready to rock. Now, these Baja Designs, just generic headlight doodads, they already have the holes for the blinkers. So let me just screw those on real fast. And there she is. Front blinkers, front headlight. Once everybody goes on, there she is. <clears throat> okay, so we've got brown, goes to our horn. We got the headlights over here figured out. Uh, the blinkers are green with white is right, green with black is left. We'll get those plugged in in a second. Uh, let's get Mr. Brown. So we just plug one side in. Ah. So one side into one spade on the horn, the other spade is gonna go all the way back to battery because this is a floating ground. Can't ground anything to the frame, only grounds with ground wires to the battery. So a little recap. So here's the wire, here's the blinkers. I tied the grounds together because the grounds, this ground, and the rear blinker grounds all have to ground through the flasher relay then to battery. That's how they blink. So I've got these little double bullets so I can plug in the bullet there and then have another one to run out and to the back. One on each side, double, double, single. So we're blinkers, blinkers, this, and then we have to run a ground from here back to the battery. And we're done for the front, because now we're plugging in through the OEM plug that goes through the gauge cluster. Hopefully that means my high beam light will work, but we'll find out later. But moving right along. So now we've got, let's do a little quick recap. So we're in, we've got key switch doing nothing still, but that positive coming out of that key switch is gonna go into our it's gonna to go to our loom right here. Uh, so one of that goes to positive, the other end of that will go into this, and that's basically it. I mean, this is where the party starts. And 
Maybe I'll figure out where this orange is because I have no idea. Next thing is brake light switch for the front. This is a hydraulic. So we're going to get rid of that bolt and replace it with this switch. So what's going to happen? Well, brake fluid is going to dribble out everywhere. But I'm hopeful that whatever we drip out here, rather than having to bleed the whole thing, hopefully there's enough. I'll just give the little caliper a squeeze and push fluid back up the, push enough fluid back up into it that I could bleed it that way. But let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going to spread the calipers down on the other side and hopefully push some fluid back up. Maybe I can avoid bleeding this whole thing. Maybe I'll just push it, push that little bit of air right out. Try again. Let's see.
Ooh, that feels pretty good. I'll top off this brake fluid probably off camera. Okay, so we got brake switch in. The brake switch has two leads. One goes to a common positive, and this is a switched positive. This is going through the key switch. And then the other side of that switch is gonna be this green. And green is going to be, this is gonna be brake light. And this is also gonna go through the foot pedal switch. They're gonna run parallel. So if either one hits, then uh, if either one is activated, then either one will make it go, make the brake light on. So what do we have going now? At the moment we have, so without filming yet, I still have one out of this multi-switch that doesn't appear to do anything. It's orange. It's not on the diagram that it does anything orange with red. So I don't know. Everybody else is plugged in. So I've got my blinker. So the grounds to both sides of these blinkers are together. The grounds go down to a black, which comes back to here. And it will be the, this will go into the blinker switch, which will also go to the brake lights. Or sorry, it's this one. This one is going to be straight ground. I ran the positive. Right now I've got a seven and a half amp fuse in it, which is probably going to be enough because keep in mind, we're only running one tail light LED and occasionally blinkers. And once in a million years, we might zap that horn. So I just pulled whatever extra wires I was gonna need. They're all back. So this front end is done, except for tidying up this disgusting rat's nest. And I won't bore you with it. Some of these that go through this thing, I'll zip, I'm gonna zip tie these guys up tie everybody up the best I can, make it look not horrid. And then we'll be able to test out a couple things. I probably want to hook up my ground and my positive to the battery because that will actually let my front end come alive. And I might want to test a few things. So let's see. Okay, so we're kind of there. We're kind of there. Kind of taught these guys a little bit. We're ready to start on the meat and potatoes over here, but so without having the, uh, without having the blinkers grounded, all we have is the main ground, which is the horn. The positive goes to the key switch and actually does make this guy have voltage because that's switched, but if I did everything correctly, we should just get horn. Beautiful. Next step is the brake pedal switch. It needs to go in here, and whenever this guy goes like that, it needs to hit. So this is what I figured out. Found this little bracket, drilled out the hole, cut a little notch. So now it fits around the case, around that little knob, right into that screw hole. And then down here, I'll drill a little hole through there and we'll be rocking. Okay. So we got our little guy here, ready to go.
interfere? It is going to interfere. So now what? Time to start bending stuff, eh? I think so. again. this is but I think we're gonna we're gonna call it okay second so there we are you hit the brake so now let's drill that little hole okay so we've had to do a little adjusting so it's got the two plastic screws so what you want to do yeah I got my spring on there drilled my little hole down there so we want it so when I press the pedal and this thing actually has a little bit of tension always on it when I press the pedal we want there to be continuity and that'll kick the lights on how far do I press just a little bit there it is that's just barely touching the brakes so we're set on that Time for the rear. So this is M. Uh, we want it, I don't know, right about, so the brake, the tail lights are just inside that little lip, which is gonna be right about there. Which means I can go anywhere along here, just make sure I'm in the middle.
close enough. Hmm, I'm not liking what's happening here. I'm not liking this at all. Back to the drawing board. Okay, so we got him on. These are just bolts, whatever, we're on. We don't have the blinkers on. I'm gonna have to figure those out after. But we did have a good place for our little regulator rectifier. Goes on in there. Uh, this is for our old running light. This is alternating current wires. So what we've got is I, wherever I unplug these, I've actually taken my wires for my regulator rectifier, my little charge guy, and we're just gonna steal that. That little alternating current that was running the brake light is now going to charge the battery. So we're gonna have the switched power on. So when the key switch comes on, this is gonna come and power the, this is gonna plug into the positive. These are gonna plug together so that when I kick the key on and the engine's running, this thing will recharge the battery. It'll put 12 volts right into here, which will then go back through the switch and into the battery. The battery will be fully isolated by that switch. Then, the, this will also go back and it'll run the running light that's on the back. So that's what we're, we're gonna do now. We're gonna wire in the running light and we'll wire in the charge coil to this and the butt. Okay, here we go. Tip. Crimp. Now picture me doing that for everything else that you've seen. And now you finally got to watch one happen. So let's get ouch, ouch, ouch. Hot, hot, hot. And there we go. So taillight wiring is black is ground. That'll go down. That'll do it straight to battery. Red is running light, which this is going to connect to that double that went to the regulator rectifier. Uh, I got him in there. Oh, that's gonna go right here. Oh, as soon as the key switch goes on, tail light comes on. Green is brake light because everything seems to be green for brake light. So green, the one I pulled from the front. Green, 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 green. So, and then of course the yellows, we're not gonna forget about them but they're gonna have their day later.
So, for the brakes, we're in. Ground, ground is ready. Positive will come on with key switch for running light. Brake light. So the brake light that came from the front, front brake switch, it's got positive on one side, and then this is the other side. That will energize positive through the green. And also from this one, so these two will be like one wire coming from the front. When the front gets squeezed, this gets voltage. Now this one's gonna have positive hooked up to this green. This black has both of these in. So when I squeeze the rear brake, this will energize too from the positive that's gonna come here. That's how we're gonna have front brake and rear brake both working. Okay, we're getting there. So what I did, I put the blinkers back on. I tied the grounds together on both of the blinkers and I put them through here. So this is the ground for the blinkers from the rear two. And this is the ground that we ran from up front from the front blinkers. So everything grounds together. And then all of those grounds from all of those blinkers all have to go through the relay, which is the only thing that'll just take it from here to ground. So the relay is going to live in there. Got another ground. So we're all set. So blinkers are all grounded to the relay. So once we hook brake light ground, regulator rectifier ground, blinker ground on the ground, we're basically done. But we do have two more rear blinkers to run. And I didn't track which is which, but since we're using bullet connectors, if we get it wrong, we'll just, we'll just switch them around. It'll be our little secret. So, the more I'm stuffing through this poor little grommet, the harder it's getting. There's one. Oh, you didn't. You didn't. We'll deal with you later, Gromit.
<clears throat> okay. Okay, so let's size them on up. Shot. Ouch, hot. We've got a 50 50 chance of getting that right. I guarantee you it's not right. Never works out that way, does it? It's just gonna be wrong. It's just gonna be. you guys up there okay okay we're it we're tucked batteries hooked up Everything seems to be in order. Key switch, multi switch. Let's kick this bad boy on, see if we can't start a fire. Oh. Are we on? We are on. Okay. So, tail light works, license plate light works, left blinker. Left blinker front, left blinker rear. Look at you. Right blinker. Right blinker front and rear. Horn. And emergency. Only the right. Something ain't right in there. Oh, just a crappy switch. All right. Okay, I'm not gonna make you sit through putting it back together because there is the big question, did I do this right? Or did I not? And then we also got to check and make sure that voltage regulator is in. So I got to check voltage before, fire it up, and then see if it charges. Stay tuned. When we come back, 
you're all back together. Forgot one more thing. Let's check the brake lights. Let's check it with the foot first. Nice. And so the foot and the hand works. So final step, uh, small confession. I made this into DC. All I did is I took the one wire that went to the positive from here and I, instead of having it go to that one AC plug, I wired it into the key switch positive and then the other end, I just ran that into the key or into the, the ground, which is the horn. Remember that's my common ground is horn and then back to the battery. So still floating battery. Now you key on and you got your lights. Brights, regular, uh, left blinker, blinking, right blinker, blinking, emergency flashers, life is good. So, last step, um, so my charge coil, I did have to run this not through the key switch on. The charge coil is hooked just to the battery it doesn't back feed, so there's no issues there. But I did notice when I fired it up, and this was ran through the key switch, when I turned my key off, all my lights stayed on, and they started doing funny stuff like not blinking or just running lights would stay on. Weird stuff was happening. So I was back feeding the positive side with the regulator rectifier. So right now, we're going to check the voltage. Um, oh, and the only thing... My stator is only running the spark plugs and the coils and charging the battery. Since I've got nothing else hooked to the AC power on this thing, it's a full DC floating, floating DC conversion at this point. Just from switching that headlight, it's all DC. So let's fire it up. I'm going to test it before. And then when we run it, we'll test it running with the lights on, voltage, and then I'll plug this guy in and we'll see if we're actually getting a charge. So, battery sitting here, nothing on it, nothing plugged into it, no use. 13.2, let's kick on the battery, or let's kick on the light. Light on, let's see where we're at now. And we're dropping. Steady dropping. Let's fire this sucker up and see what happens. I'm going to turn the key back off. Now, the key does not let the engine run. It runs just like a normal dirt bike. You fire it up, and you kill it with the kill button. This only turns on the lights. So revving it up, we got up there to like the 13.2 or whatever. So we know that the charge coil is charging. We'll just have to see how good it does when I'm flying down the road. So we're calling this guy done. Nice. Pretty. Uh, 
Lights, bright, dim. Left blinker, blinky blink, and blinky blink. Look at that running light. Right blinker, blink, blink, horn, and then brake light. Hand lever brake light. Foot lever brake light. 